This is the binary mechanical adder. And this was one of the very first innovations that was designed by Danny Hillis for the 10,000-year clock. This solves a very fundamental problem in trying to keep time over the course of 10,000 years in that it relieves the clock from having to use gears to do all of its calculation over that amount of time. The problem with using gears to do your calculation, as very traditional clocks do, is that as the gear teeth mesh, they wear a little bit of material away each time. And as that wears away, they go around and around, and they're becoming less and less accurate with every revolution. And it's a very minute amount, but over 10,000 years, uh, you can imagine that that adds up. And so you have this additive error problem. Danny Hillis, whose background was in computer design, realized that there might be a way to use binary mechanics in a way similar to modern computers to do uh, digital math with analog components. And so what we have here is a, is a wheel that every time it goes around, it reads a program, a, a number that's programmed in a binary way with pins, and then writes out a, uh, a version of that number on the outside in bit pin levers that it can switch. And once it adds that number up, it actually gives an input or an output to the dials so that it can advance a dial. And these can be programmed for any dial on the clock or any planet that we want to show. And in fact, he designed this based on that same way that they do calculation. And it's a, it's a binary system in that it has pins that are programmed in either zero or one positions on the inside, and then it has what are called bit pin levers that actually flip from zero to one based on the inside program every time this uh, wheel goes around. So in effect, what you get is digital accuracy with the reliability and transparency of mechanics.